Yeah, we're gonna get into our next performance. All the way from Greensboro. Um, she does more than uh, sit uh, beautifully by the oil table and uh, and knit or crochet or crochet, whatever. Yeah, yeah, crochet. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not proper. Um, yes, please. I'll make some noise for the wonderful Morgan. Back. I'm an important person. Give it up for me, please. Thank you. Just like y'all make people treat you. And have people in your circle, they don't root for you. So it's okay to check people. But I appreciate y'all presence. Hi. Um, I am Morgan Renee Myers. I'm from Greensboro, North Carolina. I am pretty much just a full-time artist and entrepreneur. So you can come visit me at my table if you don't purchase anything. I still would like to talk to you and connect because we do a lot of artistic events, you know, all kind of just fun stuff. So, yeah, so body oils, burning oils. I have some shirts from my friend Erica. Her new line is called No More. Um, I crochet. I'm making a dress. I was at an event last night that Soul Society hosted called the Heart Gallery. And the sister seen the halter dress I made in the back and placed an order, so that's what I'm making. She needs it by Friday for all white parties, so I'm just thankful for the gift of my talent in my hands. Um, so I'm gonna spit something for y'all. I ain't spitting like forever because I'm I'm growing as a person, so some topics I just you know I don't talk about no more. But I feel like spitting it. It's called why can't I find a man? <laughs> Bear with me. It's been a minute. Why can't I find a man? Someone decent enough to have common sense yet conduct himself like a gentleman. If he's interested, he'll find a time. I'm tired of that sorry ass line. Nigga, you knew you was interested when you asked for my number. So whether or not you planned on getting some, I feel like you should make some kind of effort to get in contact with me. Hit me up. See how I'm doing type stuff. Why I always got to hit you up asking about your day? When you coming by? I'm cooking dinner tonight. Yo hungry ass come running at the call of free good food. Any other time you act like you ain't in the mood to deal with me, sweetie, if only you knew. I am the illest chick to chill with. I have you laughing to your sides, hurting your ribs split. I can make baked barbecue chicken, cabbage, and cornbread taste like the best you ever had. I can engage your mind without killing the mood, and I can make a move on you if I wanted to. Get in the bedroom, strip them sheets, and get on top of me, because... I don't do that riding and all that. I just got done using my energy entertaining you. It's your turn. Take off them shoes. Drop them boxes. No poking through that little hole tonight. I want to see every bit of you as you hitting this oh. shit right. That's right. I said it. Oh. Well, now you go ahead too. Nigga, did I just not get done entertaining you? But I can't get it up. It feels so good. Look, you pushing it. <laughs> But I understood. After that, now can we get to what we came here for? Five minutes later, he done came laying on the floor, exhausted yet satisfied. Of course, there's no cuddling, roll of the eyes. But if I had a man, honey, it wouldn't go down like that. My baby would take me out to dinner or bring dessert when I treat him to a home-cooked meal. We laugh and discuss politics as he rubs on my heels, carry me to a bedroom filled with music, soft candles and rose petals, gently removing my clothes while blessing and caressing my body before he starts on the massages. Enjoying my juices is his favorite part of the meal. He knows what he's doing, no need for direction. That's why I don't mind and I enjoy letting him feel my love until it reaches the back of my neck and slowly put it in. He and I are the best together, there's no doubt about it. My man would know which spots to hit and couldn't miss for shit. My man would spend quality time with me, treating me like a queen. And he'd be a king in my eyes. For once, my mother would approve. My little brother would have a man to look up to. My man would be handsome and strong, have education, motivation, transportation, and a job. <laughs> the number of bums I have dealt with, my God. But my man would understand the dude all the others couldn't. My man would love me when all the others wouldn't. Hell, I tell my man I love him before his time, even though I shouldn't, because my ass don't know how to act when something good come along. So this man I would have to hold on to. So future baby daddy, this is for you. I'm excited for us to meet, and when we do, it'll be of no surprise, because I knew you were out there hiding in disguise. I love you, baby. Thank you. <laughs>